Have you ever sipped a soda in the South on a Saturday? It's your boy Tom Till too. <laughs> or my alter ego, Phineas Gilmore. He didn't tell you if your wife ever loved you and if your children are yours. Ah, sports, man. Sports. You know, I was thinking about the time, more stay in the time, and they're, they're going to be here like in a week or so. Hallelujah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Jiggalos, get it on me too. <laughs> yes, they are. It's a free concert at a casino. I ain't going. I don't gamble. Any who's so I tried to do uh, my little vid on the on the Atlanta uh, Atlanta Hawks versus Cleveland, and Cleveland lost to Atlanta Hawks uh, on Wednesday in the preseason. For some reason my videos have been struggling to upload, but uh, basically, uh, so Atlanta Hawks has a good team, but they are less than 40. I think they're like 36. 36%. So, you know, they're struggling to, uh, you know. But it, to me, everybody in the preseason struggles. I think even Golden State lost. You know, I don't know who they lost to. But everybody, you know, nobody has great scores in the preseason. So I don't take that as, uh, you know, as Cleveland losing to me in anything. But Heck, they probably had their, you know, third stringers out there. Although the first stringers probably played too. You know, people are talking about the aging, the aging Cleveland Cavaliers. You know, when people say that, I'm just like, it's funny how the aging Cleveland Cavaliers have pretty much the only shot, the only shot, if you ask me, of taking out Golden State. Now, there's some people like, hey, Golden State, they won't even make the playoffs. And I'm just like, who, who's going to beat them? <laughs> who's going to take them out? The Celtics? No, the Spurs? Now, people are ranting and raving about the Spurs. But man, let's stick with the Hawks for now. Let's stick, with, let's stick with that game. Anyway, so the Hawks, 40%. And uh, they are talking about, you know, how, how uh, of course, a lot of information that they said we already know. We already know that the point guard, Isaiah Thomas, is not going to be there for some months to come. Hell, that trade wasn't even about him, you know. That trade was all about cap space. It was like, you know. Listen, if there was another point guard there, they would have took that point guard. That trade was all about making Kyrie Irving happy to where he wanted to go. Uh, making sure he didn't lose any revenue and making sure that the cap space for Cleveland was cleared for 30 million in the luxury tax and taking players that we all know could fit within you know within that surplus of money and make everything balance out for the trade that's what it was all about. That's why Kyrie never came out and said he had a problem with LeBron. But, you know, uh, I think once the preseason is all over uh, and you, you see the Cavs really get warmed up, you're going to see them go, go, go. Now, they were to try to uh, try to say that the coach, uh, T. Lou, I think that's his name. forgot what his first name is. But they're saying that he is going to uh, – they're trying to see how hard he's going to run him. I'm like, you're not going to – coaches are going to run anybody. If anything, they're running him, you know. So let's get that straight right now. Second of all, you're not going to run D-Wade too hard. You run D-Rose too hard. He's just <laughs> he's just going to sit on the sideline and watch you until his contract is over. Then he's going to go play for Washington. No, <laughs> everybody goes to play for Washington. <laughs> You know, he's going to play for Phoenix or somebody. You know, <laughs> Phoenix. I'm going to Phoenix. Uh, <laughs> going to play for the Suns. Yeah. 
I'm going to Seattle, Supersonics. Uh, so it's like, what? You know. <laughs> he probably got another. He probably got another two contracts in him. Derrick Rose is. You know who Derrick Rose is to me? Derrick Rose is Terry Crew. You guys know Terry Crew, the Spikes commercial dude. You know, power, 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 power. you know, with the muscles, Terry Crew. There's my mother. That's my Terry Crew. Terry Crew. What a lot of people don't know about him is he played professional football. Well, arms like that, you just think, why not? Well, he played professional football, and during the end of his year, he played for nine different teams, and he would get on these one-year contracts all the time, at league minimum of like one point whatever million. He would keep getting these one-year contracts because he was good enough that you would pick him up and you'd want him on the roster all year. You know what I'm saying? He 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 was he was good enough to make it past the practice team, and you'd want him on a roster because whatever he was doing, he could still do it good enough to pay him league minimum. And he wasn't making a fuss. He wasn't going. I want five million. He was just like, "What do you got? I'll I'll take that. Come on with it." <laughs> now he's making more money, you know, doing what he's doing. And but that's that's who D Rose is to me. He's gonna just keep getting on one year contracts. You know what's what's the league minimum? One point. I, I'll take that. Eh, over here. Yep. Play a couple games, go somewhere, sit down. He's going to keep doing it. People are going to keep picking him up for the next three or four years. Yeah. You know, until he's like, I'm done with this. <laughs> but, uh, so, that's just my take on Cleveland. Yeah, they're old, you know. But they still got some juice in them. And uh, they're going to pick up some young guys here as, as this keeps going. And when they do, man... They're going to run those young guys. <laughs> They're going to run them young racehorses up and down that court. And then when it's time for Brum Brum to step in, D. Wade, you know, J.R., D. Rose, Kevin Love. When it's time for them boys to, to really turn it on, you're going to see about midseason, it's going to be lights out. <laughs> They're not trying to win 75 games or whatever the record is. They don't care. They're just like, we're going to make it to the playoffs, and it's going to be some close calls. People are going to start doubting them. Then they're just going to pull it out of nowhere. <laughs> they're going to smash the Celtics. They're going to make it seem like the Celtics is having a great series against them. Then they're just going to smash them. Eh, we're going to crush them now. Go in and beat <laughs> game seven, beat them by a wide margin, 25 points. You know, go to the championship and do the whole thing in seven games. Your boy Tone 202, man. God loves you. Stay saved.